It has been more than a week now since Chicago began evicting migrants from shelters. Today, some aldermen want daily updates on the number of people forced to leave. Terrence Lee at the live desk with more on today's vote. Scott, and on the Immigrant and Refugee Rights Committee passed an ordinance to make migrant shelter eviction data more accessible. Now, if the full council passes this measure next month, DCFS will provide a daily report on the number of new arrivals and asylum seekers evicted or removed from city shelters. Then that information will be posted online. The committee also wants to make sure the 60 day shelter limit policy is being followed. Some migrants are being allowed to stay longer for different reasons. Alderman Andre Vasquez thinks the new rule will give a better picture of the situation. Based on particular cases, being able to speak to accommodations and exceptions that are being made is also helpful in understanding the process and seeing on average like how long folks are staying in the shelter uh, with those extensions. So I think painting a better picture of clarity about what's being done is most helpful. And in the absence of it, a lot of narrative is created that doesn't speak to the good work being done. Um, so we think there's a value in, in knowing that as well. Right now, there are more than 10,300 migrants in 23 shelters across the city. And since 2022, Chicago has received more than 37,900 new arrivals. Dawn.